Hey, what's going on everyone? Alan here, AKA The Bird Bay, and I have Elfie with me as my buddy for this quick video on the controversial topic. We're gonna start a debate here today in this video. Should you clip your bird's wings? The age old debate. And it is an interesting topic because you have people who swing to far extremes that say, you know, a bird should never be allowed to have um, their wings fully grown out. They can fly away. You can lose your parrot. And then the other school of thought is, you know, clipping your parrot's wings is detrimental to their health, their well-being, and any parrot should have the ability to use what it was born with and its abilities to fly, right? And I have my own interesting perspective on this or different perspectives, so to say, uh, because, you know, I've just uh, gone through different experiences with Alfie when I first got him, and I've seen both sides of the equation and pros and cons to each. So when I first got Elf, uh, Alfie about three years ago, uh, he was basically a clipped bird. He always had his wings clipped. That's I can tell that's how he was raised and uh, how they had him around uh, in his cage with this previous owner. And the reason why is because I think that, you know, people uh, and specifically Elfie's previous owners were just thinking to themselves, oh, if I, if I clip my parrot's wings, it's not going to fly away and it's good for the parrot to not fly away. Um, and I knew that he didn't know how to fly because I literally had to teach him how to fly from like scratch. Like, he used to be so scared to hop from his perch to my finger like that was the hardest part and you know obviously it got better from there but um, I've seen both sides and one thing that I noticed is when Elfie's uh, wings were clipped uh, his wings weren't very strong he couldn't fly very far and at the same time uh, he tended to be a very uh, fearful bird and sometimes when you have your parrot's uh, wings clipped they can't really run away or escape from uh, danger so to speak and that's one of the benefits of actually having your, your parrot's uh, wings fully grown out is that they can fly away, they can fly to you, they can avoid danger, uh, whether it's another parrot in the house, another animal, or just something uh, that, they're, that they're running away from. So it's convenient for the owner, yes, but then Elfie doesn't get much exercise um, aside from you know hanging out and foraging with his toys. He doesn't get much exercise. He doesn't get the ability to fly around and get exercise, which is what he was born uh, to do. He's a parrot. So I let his wings grow out. But interestingly enough, as I let his wings grow out, I started to see him revert back to his natural fearful behavior and anything that would spook him he would fly away and end up crashing into like the wall, which further made him more fearful. And although I wasn't the one causing him to fly away and crash, because I was around with my parrot, what ended up happening is that he started to associate me with the negative experience of flying and hitting a wall. So then what I ended up doing is you know, with parrots and with training, you can always take a step back. You don't have to rush it. I honestly prefer to do things at a steady pace and consistently uh, as opposed to rushing training or doing more than what the parrot's comfortable with. Uh, so with that being said, I took a step back. I taught Elfie um, how to fly and come to me on recall A to B and he was reverting back to his normal behavior when he couldn't fly properly and crashing into things. So I actually decided to clip his wings. I clipped one wing so that it would reduce his flying ability. And instead I took a step back and I worked on the bond and his fearful behavior. And he knows how to fly now, but it's now working around the things that trigger him to be scared. So that's my two cents on it is if you feel like your bird is going to be in danger by, you know, it, having fearful behavior or it runs away and flies and crashes into things and you want to work on your parrot's bond and taming um, so that it's not as fearful, then I recommend you do that. If I had an option, I would always say, you know, work with your parrot, develop a strong bond and let it learn how to fly, how to recall. It's a beautiful thing to, you know, watch your bird come to you, to fly around the house, to go to its perch. It's just a really good thing to do. Um, and the bird gets plenty of exercise. So that's my two cents on it. Um, if your parrot is clipped, work on the relationship with your parrot. 
make sure that you are building the bond and working on flight training, you know, baby steps. And then from there, once you establish that relationship, you let its wings grow out and you make sure that it doesn't have like, for example, with Alfie fearful behavior, doesn't crash into walls and knows how to navigate. And you know, it's going to be a great way for your parrot to also get exercise, which is going to be super important. So uh, if you have a clip parrot, let its wings grow out, work on the bond, work on flight training, recall training. Um, if your parrot's already, you know, has wings that are grown out, I would recommend that you continue working with your bird so that it goes from A to B. Um, it, you know, works on the recall training with your parrot and you still develop that strong relationship and maybe even free flight down the road. So that's my two cents on it. I want to hear your comments. What do you think should your parrots or should a parrot or bird's wings be clipped? Comment in the comment section. Don't forget to check out the uh, Instagram and subscribe to this channel in the description below. Um, and I think that's it for this video guys just something really quick just uh, something that I wanted to throw out there you know it's gonna depend on everyone's case but always opt for a free flighted parrot unless there's some condition that's gonna prevent you from doing that um, and yeah I want to hear what video topic do you guys want me to talk about next um, I'm here with Alfie as you can see he keeps trying to bite my fingers and it's because he's uh, going through his mating season and he's trying to regurgitate uh, for me he was being all hormonal last week um, and attacking or lunging at me for no reason I would stare at him and he would just try to attack me and it's because he was in his cage and you know it's a bird thing I just try to ignore that bad behavior but um, that's why he keeps trying to bite my fingers right now but that's it for this quick video um, you know comment in the comment section what topic do you want me to cover next um, don't forget to check out the link for our Facebook group of other parrot owners and aspiring parrot owners uh, where we help each other out build each other up and uh, support one another that's it for this video, Alan, a.k.a. The Bird Bay, and I will see you guys next time. And so will Elfie. Ah, oh, buddy. Can you give me a kiss? Kiss. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Sometimes I have to entice him to give me a kiss, but nothing a little treat can't fix. Uh, but you guys just saw a smooch. You know everything about us now. See you guys next time.